Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Speed here, and today we're back with supporting game because apparently you have to play more than one support game to get like other roll cues. I actually didn't know that was a thing because I'm like not used to this system, you know? Like I, I didn't, I, you play classic when you're, you know, I, I mean, I don't play much ranked on my main anymore. I mostly play with my friends. I play party queue on ranked with my friends, but I didn't know this was like this. So I have to play all these games, but nonetheless, my last recording, I played a cuddle game and I lost and it got, it, I just, it messed up. The recording, it didn't go through. You're going to be like, oh, speed. You don't want to show it to us. I, just for you, because, you know, I'm sure y'all want to see it. I'll post it on the Game Leap website. But uh, let's check out my current MMR once I load in. And yes, I am ancient. That is from the last game, though. That is not from this game. But yeah, I played Coddle. Didn't go too well. Team was tilting out. It is what it is. It would have been an entertaining game. So trust me, I would have posted it. But still, I'm posting this game. It's Pugna. We're playing Pugna 4. This hero's mad fun, by the way. Like, if you're looking for a hero just to, like, style on people, Pugna's that hero. Pugna's mad underrated. This hero is mad underrated, especially in solo queue, and I'll show you how to do it. It's kind of a tough Pugna game, though, because I get bursted by Tiny. Cottle Blast is annoying. Ember Chains is annoying. He dives me. I can't really kill Phoenix too easily. Slark is, like, a decent matchup for Pugna, because you can decrep yourself when he goes on you, and he can't do anything about it, so, like, that's not bad. But, uh, yeah, I'll be showing you how to play Pugna. Also, someone recognized me. <laughs> the poor Abe Lincoln, you know? Hey, dude, I lost my last game. Maybe I'll lose this game for you. You know, I'll lose it for you, Abe Lincoln, if you're watching this, which uh, I hope you are. But nonetheless, if you guys haven't subbed to the channel and liked the video yet, come on, what? Are you serious? On top of that, have you not spent all your money yet? Have you not ruined your credit score for Game Leap subs? That's insane. All right, let's fight the rune. Your hero's really good. So here's the concept behind Pugna. You're a high armor hero with high movement speed. So essentially, the key is just to like, oh, oh my god, I'm leaning against Coddle. <laughs> no. At least I have boots. I can run away from his blasts when I see them coming. Also, look, look, you have 375 movement speed, right? Yeet. And yeah, the reason why you rush boots is so you can get mana boots right away. Then you can get Aether Lens right away. It's not necessarily the best item for the lane. It is okay because you can get to the small camp to block it. You can kite around. I can avoid blasts. I don't necessarily want to trade 1v1 with people in the first place, so... Really, what I'll be doing here is trying to scout the Coddle Blast, which is probably coming... Okay, no, it's here. I don't really want to man fight this guy yet. Let's check his items. He doesn't really have the best trading items, so I sort of can trade with him. So what you want to do when you're trading like this is you want to attack move around the corner. So if your hero gets vision, you just instantly attack. And now, because we instantly attack, we get the advantage. And even Coddle is slow compared to me when my boots. Okay, my Sinking's kind of getting beaten up more than I thought he would. That's all right. We'll help him out a little bit. Got to watch out for the blast. There's going to be a blast coming. There it is. <gasps> oh, no. He's going to get hit. Oh, he didn't get hit. Nice. There's a big creep wave coming in, so we obviously don't want to approach into that. I'm going to shift to the right side of the lane for now. I'll throw up a little auto attack. Get that deny. Oh, that actually was in range. Oh, wow. I didn't think it was. Okay. Yeah, now I'm just going to hit the Slark. You know, I, the only reason why I was zoning from the other side is I, I just didn't want my Sand King to get Cuddle Blasted, to be honest. Like, that was, like, my whole idea behind the lane. Oh, that's a free deny. Well, Cuddle, the wave is pushing in. You can't just hit me like that, boy. You want to get beat up? And this is the advantage to the boots. Like, anytime you get in a slight state of advantage, you can really pump out the autos. Also, it looks like Cuddle did block the large camp. He, oh, he also pulled. Okay. Uh, we're just going to hit the Slark for now. I'll just grief this guy a little bit. He can't actually hit me or anything like that. Also got the deny. See, like, he shouldn't pounce like that, realistically. I guess my Sand King's a bit underleveled, so it's okay for him, but generally Slarks can't pounce like that because, you know, you have a hard time disengaging. You're not that tanky, necessarily. Here's the range creep. Okay, he's blasting. This Coddle really got to work on his blast game. He keeps doing it from, like, very obvious vision. If you're playing Coddle, see, this is why I got to show up my Coddle game. You got to do it from, like, more hidden spots now. As I said, this lane's not going great, but I'm just going to continue to hit the Slark just to try to give my Sand King a bit of space to CS. Okay, looks like he's not going to be able to do that. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Nice, Slark can't CS either, he just forgot. Also, I'm going to... One thing you can do as support Pugna as well is you can just be mean to people, like... Just go like that. You say, heh heh. <laughs> and you deny the creep in their face. Yeah, let's just beat him up. All right, my Wraith King's talking a lot. That's a fat mute. That's a fat mute. Let's see if this is still blocked. Oh, he's sentry blocked it. Okay. 
All right, let's go quickly. I should be blocking the, the small camp to be fair, so I'm getting out. Play <sighs> let's drag the wave. I'm going to I'm going to bring this wave over to my tier one tower. We'll just static it temporarily. I, my sand king should go contest the other stuff, but OK, he's going to aggro it apparently. All right, if that's what you want. He also has no tangos. I was going to ask him for a tango, but he has no tango. Oh my god, this guy really cannot last it. Come on, you got this one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You'll get the next one. Man. That's fine. <laughs> Woo! We're popping off today, boys. I gotta watch out for the blast. I can just feel it coming. No? Oh, uh, stunt, stunned in. Um, there's the blast. That's fine. You're gonna see, I'm just gonna keep manning up. Kill him, what the heck? This Slark has gotta work on his pounces. You can't just pounce like that, bro. Now I can just kind of chase him down. I have to be a bit careful. I'm a, I'm a tad low, you know. Got to watch out for that Caudal Blast. Could happen. Got to be a bit careful. Sometimes you can ship out Salve if you're in my position. Seems pretty good. I can maybe kill this Slark if I can get in range. He does have a stick, but... I'll walk up here. I'll try to bait the Blast. I don't really want to tank any autos right now. Lane's going fine. My Sand King's getting some farm, so... We've done our job. <laughs> Dude, this Caudal, man. He needs to get a Game Leap sub ASAP. Something I kind of need to do more is blast. It's just a bit awkward because I'm low. So he's going to go for this melee creep. Nice little blast here. Oh, he actually might be dead. Ooh, he actually lived that. Okay. Well, does he have a salve? I actually don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but... Let us briefly walk and contest the bounties. Ow. Okay, maybe I can't contest the bounties. He actually might try to blast and kill me. I'll decrypt myself and run away. I might be dead, but... For the runes! Oh, he missed! No. <laughs> See ya, loser. Now you're dead. <laughs> Abe Lincoln, outplayed. We're gonna tip him. That's the guy who recognized me. <laughs> Alright, now... We almost got our mana boots, dude. When we get mana boots... Oh, dude, I've been flaming him the whole time, and this is the guy who recognized me. Hey, man, you gotta... Dude... Alright, you gotta hide in the trees when you're blasting, alright? That's for you. Like, I keep seeing you when you're blasting, right? You gotta, like, go in the crevices, you know, in the pockets and blast more. If you blasted more in this lane, I think you would have win in the lane, but you're not blasting enough. So, there you go. Free coaching session. That would be $50, please. Oh, my my lasted now, boy. I didn't actually mean to take that, but... You know, Oh, this is big damage. I could have decrept him there. I usually don't like to decrep people just because, you know, then you can't, they can't get auto, they can't hit, get hit by the wave or whatever. We got our mana boots coming. Did this respawn? It's probably still blocked, yeah. Okay. Honestly, probably should just walk for the arcane boots. This courier is a freaking snail! I got mana boots coming. This Slark's got no game though right now. The solar mine? This is kind of a weird combo. Oh, that's not going to hit him, is it? Now we got the mana boots, baby. Oh, stun connects. Oh, I'm so bad! I should have killed him. So basically what I needed to do there... So when you cast Pugna Blast, if, if you cast it like this, that's when you can, like, hit them. Or like this, right? This is how you maximize the range. If you, like, click on the person to cast it on them, you actually, like, minimize the range. And I, I kind of did that there, just because I thought it would kill him anyway. Kind of stupid. Alright, I just lost us that kill. JJ. Do I want to farm this? Alright, also I've given the Sand King more than enough levels. Generally, I would want to continue to give him levels, but I want to hit my 6 so I can style on people. That's more fun. But this Slark is absolutely miserable. I honestly should, probably should have bought a Sentry as well for the large camp block. But now their Caudal's just going to blast the wave over and over again. I can run him out of the wave here. I don't know why he didn't go into the trees. I think he ran... Where'd he go? I don't know. I'll give my Sand King some mana though. On top of that, I can stack some camps for him. Hopefully, he'll get the wave and I'll stack the camp. Oh, wait, but this camp's not here, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going crazy, guys. I'm going crazy. I'm just going to blast the wave, honestly. I'll just use all my mana to try to get the tower. Oh, the Slark's here. All right. Look at this. Freak your CS. <laughs> Let's just try to grief his, his CS as much as possible. <laughs> This guy's mad. He's mad. I'm just trying to tilt him out of the game. All right, let's see if we can get a side pull. Why is he running at me, bro? You know who I am? I'm Pugna. You think you can run me down? <laughs> it's 
That's all you do. You just just keep kiting him and kiting him. Now I'm gonna deny his creeps. Kite him. Hit him, hit him. Oh, Coddle's back. Nope, can't deny me. I'm too good. I can deny you, though. <laughs> Whoa, don't solar by me. Alright, that's fine. I can take that damage. That's not a that's not a charge blast or anything like that. Tanking's going in for the stun. I'm trying for the decrep. Did he not have pounce? Why did he pounce so late? What the heck? Now, when you're playing support pugna, you want to max out your W. The reason why you want to max your W on support pugna is it goes down to a six second cooldown, which aligns with the seven second cooldown of mana drain. So you hit this really strong level seven spike that uh, is pretty literal. It's very strong. So I'll probably be taking the tome as well. Even though I'm like a decently high level, I'll probably just take the tome. Huck is coming bottom. Pretty hard for us to dive call. I don't know how we... Alright, I'll just push in the wave for him. By pushing in the wave, it will go under, under tower, obviously, and then maybe we can try to look to make a play. Oh, there's a tiny here. Guess he's fine. Hey. Oh, what the? They see him? I'll decrep him just to keep him alive for a bit. Try to buy time for his next stun. Maybe that decrep was a little bit early, to be honest. Is what it is. All right, that's fine. Honestly, not bad. Tiny rotation. He got baited, right? Why does this guy care? It's just one death. <laughs> this guy's acting like it's like the end of the world. He got baited? Like, what do you mean? It's fine. <laughs> he forced a rotation. Looks like my mid laner crushed, too. He's 3-0. Oh. Is he a smurf? No. Okay. He's just a god! Hey, Slark. And now, this is what you do. Once, once you get some levels, this guy wants to farm under tower? Absolutely not. I don't even care if I get ganked. I'm just griefing this guy's game. Think I care? Think I care, Tiny? Nope. Oh, man. The tower the tower died. Think I can't walk out the back? See ya, losers. This is what we call space. And now, I walk up. I press, press life drain on the Slark. I back away because Tiny's running at me and I don't want to get one shot. Take another point of my W here. Okay, there's an ember. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Sand King. I wish you the best, Mink. I might get jumped on by the Ember. I'm going to back up, obviously. I don't want to... Don't want to feed yet. I'll feed later on, guys, for you, but not yet. Sometimes you do want to take a value point in uh, Nether Ward at level 8, but I don't know. I don't think it's, like, that good this game, so I'm just going to max my Q. I'm having a good game myself now. You know, my levels have really amplified. Neutral item. Oh, Arcane Ring. Ooh. We are goaded now. Let's see what camps here. Okay. And now I'm just gonna split push a little bit. I can basically transition to a core at this point. Nice, they killed the ember. Yeah, but I can transition to a core. I can get this tower, no problem. I can also bully the Slark out of lane, which is actually a big deal, you know, people don't realize. Like, even if he purges this, he can't man up. Like I guess he can like do that, but this ain't gonna I don't think this is gonna play out for you. All right, sorry guys. I it looks like I lagged out. Oh, what? Oh, I'm dead. What the heck, man? These servers, dude. Nowadays, the servers nowadays. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, what am I supposed to do about that? Real bummer. Oh God, that's a tragedy. Honestly, what's a bigger tragedy is my uh my. Hopefully, my Wraith King's doing well. Oh, Wraith King's doing great. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Now we got the Aether Lens. This is where things get fun. So my puck is TPing there. I kind of want to. I want to play with my puck. I can amp his damage a lot. I do want to buy a smoke. I don't have enough gold. I spent it on iron branches, so I'd have some HP. But I'll, I'll just TP over here, play with my puck. Could have waited for a smoke at this point. It was two gold off, but that's all right. Let's just get this tower. I kind of want to get down a deep ward to keep myself safe. All right, let's get the tower and then I'll go warding. I feel like my Wraith King's gonna get ganked. He should really be jungling. They might go top here. They're top, they're top. Wraith King going in for the jukes. Look at the Slark. HP. I'm gonna get down a deep ward here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try out this ward. Slark's gone. I'm also gonna get a ward down behind their mid-tier one. Nice. Looks like my team's popping off. Get some, I'm just going to get some really deep wards, only because my team has a very offensive team comp, like, we have a lot of play potential. So, 
I'm a big fan of just getting down these deep wards. I think my team is chilling. I don't know. They, they should really go farm. Okay. I'll, I'll push in bottom again. Like, the thing about Pugna is you're really good at doing this, like, whole split pressure thing, right? You're really good at just, like, taking the map and kind of splitting it up for your team and, you know, kind of enabling to, them to farm by, by shoving in the waves, so. I should, probably should go mid. I should be with my team here. I don't know who's dying. I'm going to TP mid here. This looks like maybe a fight that they might commit to. Look at his damage. Okay, not enough. That's fine. And the thing about Pugna is you can just do it over and over again. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just do it over and over and over again. Like. And the nice thing about Pugna is when you're full HP, it actually gives you mana back, right? A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> On top of that, you can give mana to your, to your teammates. So, like, if my Puck ever needs some mana, I'll pop him. Like, see, this word is actually the god word. Look at these words. Kills all day, every day with these words. They think they're safe. Right here, right here. Never mind, never mind. All right, too many fluffy hats. <laughs> I'm gonna go give my puck some mana. I think he just could use it. Oh yeah. I'm, uh, obviously, you're gonna take the tower last hit when you're playing Pugna. Oh, I didn't even get it. Look at this. Full mana, baby. Now he can go farm. And the nice thing is when I... You always want to buy Tranquils to Pugna so you can heal them pretty consistently like that. Also, I gotta buy a magic wand. I bu didn't buy these two branches for nothing. And I'm gonna stack this camp and I'll... Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll stack it towards the... Towards the ruins. It seems efficient. I'm gonna go grief this Slark. At this point, he definitely can't kill me, alright? Last time, it was a fluke. I'm gonna glip the wave just to waste his time. And look, easy grief. Obviously, it's Slark, so, like, Slark is much better against Pugna than a lot of the other carries, but, like, some of the other carries, like, PA and TB, like, dude, the amount of work you can do against those heroes is pretty insane. Like, you, you, you actually just, they can't deal with you, right? Because, obviously, they get disarmed, and that's all they got, you know? So, you kind of just walk down side lanes, and, like, this Slark, look what he has to do now. Because I'm here, he has to jungle. He doesn't want to jungle. He wants to push in waves. Like, it's not terrible for him to jungle, but, like, he's 16 minutes into the game with a Midas Orb. He's not jungling fast, right? It's not like he's got, like, a Fury or... You know, some crazy amount of items and so this is the value in what i'm doing it, it like this might look greedy but I, I really want people to understand the value in playing greedy it doesn't just um it, it's not just being about being greedy right that's not what it's about so i'm gonna try out the holy lock at this game you love my team let's also try to siege in this tower a bit pugna if the coddle walks back here i can maybe kill him if he walks this way nice <laughs> he's gonna be so mad <laughs> Why does he have a Blade of Alacrity? Alright, you deserve to die for buying Blade of Alacrity first. You deserve that, man. <laughs> I hope you didn't do that for the video. <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna keep doing this. We're almost level 12, which is pretty nuts, right? When I hit that level 12 mark... Um, we're gonna be snowballing the heck out of this game. Now, I do expect to get ganked at some point. Not yet, though. I see the Tiny, I see the Slark, I see the Ember, I see the Phoenix, so... I'll just keep punching this tower. If they want to react, they can react, but... They're going to have to bring a couple heroes to kill me. They, they, you know, they're going to need more than one hero to kill me. So this looks like a maybe, maybe a kill. I can clean up here. Oh, I see you. <laughs> this, ga this game is an absolute disaster for them. Absolute disaster. Oh, they call it. It's JJ. He wants them to end. <laughs> what is the second saying? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, what? All right, and back to the bottom lane. But this is how I like to play Dota. This is my favorite. This is the most relaxing way to play Dota. Like, no one pushes in side lanes in, like, 3 and 4K. So, like, I just do it, you know? And I, I'm just chilling. I, I don't care if they gank me. I don't care if I die. I'm just going to get huge. I'm level 13. Dude. I'm probably, like, the highest level in the game. I'm higher than all their teammates. As a support. This is kind of taking up a lot of my ma my uh, my mana, though. To be honest. So close. Uh, I will decrep myself, and this is the advantage of this matchup. You just decrep yourself, and they can't kill you, right? Give him a little sucky. And another kill. And you notice, when I'm playing Pugna, you see how I'm always looking to, like, life train and 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 use my spells i know that sounds very simple it's like wow speed you're using your spells no way haha <laughs> very cool man no but it's more about the idea that like 
Oh, I could have maybe healed him. Let's try to heal this guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's awkward. You think I won't play aggressive though? This is how you learn, guys. This is how you learn. I'm gonna learn if I'm if I'm tanky enough to make this play. And we'll life drain this guy. See what it does. Oh right, he can cancel it. That's not too good. Hit him with the jukes, dude. Oh, oh, put it on the sauce. We oh, he can actually, yeah, he can. Um. Now we just got to go behind this guy to juke him. Life drain this guy. Yes. We're killing them all. You can't stop my pugna. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! It's a disaster for the enemy team. They just got solo killed <laughs> by a pugna. I hope I've inspired you all to play pugna. This is it honestly is one of my favorite heroes in Dota, just for stuff like that. Like if you understand the mechanics, like of of like decrepting people and and. How much you can heal and like when they don't have stuns like I know they don't have stuns right so like that's why I can primarily make that play it's uh it's why once I killed that tiny you know I can feel really confident right because I know that their main cancel for my life drain and their main burst damage uh is the tiny which is tends to be pugna's counter and we're saying why heart well I can infinitely suck people when I get a heart it's the mega heal strat Smurf? I'm not a Smurf. Why is Ember calling me Smurf? What? That's insane. I'm, I am not a Smurf. People are crazy. Alright, we have the heart. Keepers <laughs> class game leap. Yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Look at this infinite heal. Wraith King kicking damage? It's fine. Alright, we gotta heal a little bit. Maybe not that tanky, but... <laughs> I am a fountain of wealth. Looks like that's going to be all too easy for Jerry is absolutely popping off. You cannot stop this guy's Wraith King. He is on another level. Too easy for Jerry is an absolute monster of the game. Who am I? I'm going to heal. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for the world record of healing. Kind of running out of mana though, not going to lie. I need to go take someone else's mana on the enemy team. Nice, nice. No! Let me steal your mana. Nice, nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. For the healing. <laughs> Is Wraith King dying? It's fine. <laughs> I really need my mana back. Sorry, Tiny. Don't take this personally. It's not personal. Infinite HP glitch. I can't believe this is still in the game. Chen hates him. Top five tips that Chen hates. No, that's for chumps. He is right, though. For anyone who doesn't know, if you decrep yourself, you actually heal faster. I don't know why that is, but it, it works for their mana and their HP. Dota's a weird game. That's all I have to say. It's like, it's essentially like when you decrep the enemy, 
you do more damage, but if you decrep yourself, it's the other way around. Who knows why, but it works like that. Whoa, I'm getting fried! Uh, no. <laughs> this puck said something and I couldn't hear him. What'd you say? No, oh, well, couldn't hear him. Unfortunate. Biddy papoo bang. I love this Coddle, dude. Coddle's a beast. If he works on his game, dude, Coddle's gonna be the greatest. I'm telling you. Abe Lincoln, he's the man. I believe in that. <laughs> Alright, but thank you guys for watching. Whoa, that didn't get MVP! Dude, uh, there's no way I'm not MVP. Come on. Valve doesn't understand talent when they see it. Are you kidding me? Nah, I'm just playing. But, uh, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to Abe Lincoln. We'll hit him up with command. He's a nice guy. This guy, though, he said gamer's class is better than game leap. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't actually... Is this going to submit him to the thing? I right, know. Nah, I'm not actually salty about it. It was just supposed to be a joke. <laughs> but alright. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see... Whoa. Why did I gain so much MMR from that? Oh. Does it know I'm a smurf? Is it? Oh. Am I smurf detected? Because <laughs> I, I was 3880 last game. Now I'm 3970. That's a plus 90 game. Hmm interesting all right well looks like i'm gonna be getting to 4k much faster than i originally thought i guess there's technically only one more video in the series if i win so yeah it's gonna be axe thank you guys for watching i hope to see you in the next one and peace but yeah that's gonna be about all folks remember click the link down below and subscribe to the game leap website where we have thousands of videos and i'll see you in the next one peace